Okay, so open your social studies book to page 63. We're going to talk about our environment, okay? So get your pencil and you're going to underline what I underline, the important things, okay? And then we're going to talk about it, okay? So here we go. So, what is our environment? Our environment is made up of non-living and living. So that means living is something that can move and breathe, like a human, an animal, okay? These are living. Plants, trees, they're living. Non-living means things that don't breathe or move. A chair, a rock, a pencil, a fan, they're non-living, okay? So, our environment, our environment is made up of things living, so it's made up of living and non-living things. So, if you look around your home, your school, outside, you see different things. You see people, they are living. You see the dog, he is living. You see the tree, that is living. At school, you look around, you see your desk, that is non-living. You see the marker, that is non-living. And you see the fan, okay? That is non-living. So in our environment, we have non-living and we have living things, okay? And so it is important to know that our environment is important to us because it provides us with living space and resources. So when you go home, where do you sleep? You sleep at your house. That is your living space. If you go to school, that is a living space. You learn at school, and if it rains, it protects you from the rain, the wind, okay? This is why it's important, okay? so. Now that you know about living and non-living, we're going to turn to the next page. Or you look at page 63 now, okay? And you can always stop the video so you can underline what I underline. If I'm moving too fast, you can pause. You can stop the video so you can see, okay? So, what is the meaning of environment? When we're outdoors, that's environment. When we're inside the school, that's an environment. An environment is different places that surround you. Your home is an environment. The big C, that's an environment. So, when we are outdoors, we can see many things around us. Houses, the street, the cars, the trees, and can the river, okay? So, when we're walking outside, this is our environment. Oh, I can see the car, I can see the tree. I can see the street. These are all part of the environment, okay? So, when we're outside, what do we see? When we are outdoors, what do we see? We see houses, streets, trees, cars, and the canals, okay? So, 
When we are outdoors, we can see many things. Houses, streets, trees, cars, and canals. You have here, you see the pictures? This is all part of the environment around us, okay? So that is the meaning of environment. It's the things you see and you touch and the people that are there. That is the environment. You go to school, what's your environment? It's your, your the students, the teachers, the desk, the paper, the lunch, that is the school environment, okay? So get this, you can pause it and copy. Now I'm gonna move on. So the first one was outdoors the outdoor environment. Now we'll talk about indoor, like school, like your house. This is all indoors. So indoors, what can we see when we go inside? We can see the wall. We have this wall, that wall. We can see the chairs. We have chairs at school, like here's a chair. We have a chair, that's a chair. And what else can you see inside? Maybe at your home you have toys. So remember, outside we see the car, the tree, the streets. Inside, what do you see? Walls chairs, and maybe toys. So there's two kinds of environments, outside and inside. Outside, you go outside and you play at the river, maybe at Big C or something, you go. But once you go inside, now you're indoors. You're inside Big C. You're inside the school. You're inside your home. That is indoors, okay? Indoors, we see the walls, the chairs, the toys, and maybe something else, the TV, a fan. So now, turn to page 64. This is So, this is activity 1. I'm going to do it with you, okay? Write the names of things that you see inside and things you see outside, okay? So, the first one Things inside the house. What do you see inside the house? In my house, I see a TV. Um, I see the bed. That's a good one. Okay, another one. Maybe at your house, you have a toy. You can put toys. Now, I'll let you do two more by yourself, okay? You can write two things you can see inside the house. Now, things outside of the house, okay? Now, things, when I go outside, what do I see? I see the motorbike. I see, what else do I see? I see the, the market.
I see the trees. Now you write two things, two more. What else do you see outside? Okay, so you have to write two more things you see inside the house and then two more things you see outside the house. Okay, so you have to write two more for each. Activity 1. 